Hey gang, Jack Allaire here, and uh, well, if you've read the title of this video, you know what's going on, but uh, uh, you may notice that I've been uploading videos again, and uh, one of the key reasons for that is that last week I had what people refer to as a heart attack, and I'm not allowed to do much except I can sit at my computer and I can edit videos that I've been meaning to upload uh, for a long time, so I've still got uh, 30 or 40 Baldur's Gate videos to put up, and I'm not even finished with the game because I'm basically still playing it just like a cat where I'm rubbing my face against every corner of it, uh, still in search of some characters that should be where I am, but I don't know if they are, but I don't want to look it up because I don't want to spoil myself, and I want to actually have that like oh! moment when I find them, if I find them, if they're there, but... So, why you're seeing a lot more videos from me. Um, go back to uh, last Wednesday, which would have been the end of February. Um, I picked my dog up from having knee surgery because he had uh, basically torn the dog version of an ACL and he had to have, uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. But uh, he can't go up and down stairs, long and short of it. I live in a two-story house, so I stayed downstairs with him. And I slept in a, an old recliner that we have. And I woke up and I felt really sore. And my shoulders kind of hurt and my back hurt and had, but I also have chronic lower back pain. So just got up and moved on with my day. Uh, started doing some dishes a little bit later on. Felt like, man, I really, really hurt. And this is coming off of working, uh, I believe eight days a, in a row at work and I was like okay well I don't feel good I think I'm gonna go lay down and I went and laid down and felt better so I got up and I was like okay well I think I'm ready to go to work and I went to work still wasn't feeling great but you know was like it was in that like in between stage of like well I don't feel great but I don't feel bad enough not to go to work maybe it's just a maybe it's an American thing uh, maybe it's just a me thing, because for so long in the army, like, you had to be on death's door not to go to work. Went to work, and after about 15 minutes of work, was like, this is not right. I am not going to last my shift. Something is very wrong. Finished what I was doing, because, of course I did. Went to my boss and was like, hey, I got to go. I got to go to urgent care right now. And she was like, go, go. Because she knows that I'm not the kind of person to screw around with that. So I go out to my car. I text my wife. I'm like, hey, what urgent care do we go to? Because I don't go to urgent care very often. Uh, I'm mostly clueless with it. And she's like, oh, we go to the one over here. I'm like, okay, no problem. It's right down the expressway. Five minutes, I'm there. Walk in, and they're like, what are your symptoms? Well... I'm feeling a tightness right here, like a bear hug, kind of a stabbing pain underneath my shoulder blade. My shoulders hurt, and uh, uh, when, I, when I start doing activities, I get lightheaded and a little dizzy, and they're like, oh, oh, you come back here. So I took my blood pressure, uh, blood pressure was double what it normally is, so imagine whatever your blood pressure is, and suddenly the, those numbers doubled, that would be a little bit of a freak out. I had high blood pressure when I was in the army 20 years ago now, and it didn't cross my mind. So I go back there and they're like, hey, we're going to do an EKG. Just uh, got stickers all over me. And then they were like, okay, good news is EKG comes back clear. Looks like your heart's fine. You have the option to drive yourself to the emergency room. We're not going to make you go in an ambulance. And I was like... Okay, I'll drive myself. So I get in the car and, and I go to the emergency room. And they're like, okay. I'm like, hey, here's the deal. Went to urgent care. They said to come here. And they're like, oh, okay, come right back. So we go. I go to the emergency room and they're like, okay, well, we're going to draw blood. Like, okay. And then they drew blood and it did it showed the thing, which I can't remember how to pronounce it. It starts with a T. And they're like, you have had a heart attack you are going to the hospital. You're going to stay there until we figure out what's going wrong. 
So I'm texting both my family and my boss throughout this whole thing like, okay, I'm in the emergency room now, you know, whatever. Like it's, I'm, I'm still feeling bad, but it still doesn't, there's no like, it doesn't feel like my heart is about to leap out of my chest. It doesn't feel, it just feels like someone is giving me a bear hug in a not friendly way. So there's your, there's your, am I having a heart attack? I now understand why some people, when they have a heart attack, they just don't realize what's going on. But, so, they draw some more blood, and the, the thing's going up, so they send me to the hospital, I'm there for three days, or I'm there for, uh, overnight, the next day they do, uh, angioplasty, which means they went in through my wrist all the way to my heart, put some dye in there, found out that the Widowmaker, which is an, uh, an artery that gets blocked on men a lot, is just blocked. And they're like, oh, well, we're going to clean that out, put a stent in it. S-T-E-N-T, -E if you want to look it up in your careers. But it's basically uh, 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 you know, it looks like a Chinese finger trap, but to keep it open. And they're like, okay, well, you're going to stay under observation for another day just to make sure. And then the next day they were like, okay, everything seems fine. Here's all your medication. Do not stop taking this medication. And they sent me home. But now I'm at home. Um, I was just allowed to drive two days ago. So yay. So I can drive places. But yesterday I went grocery shopping. And I tell you, by the end of grocery shopping, it felt like I had uh, gone for a nice brisk jog. Like it was not the, the we push the cart through the thing, we put the thing in, and then we're done. It was not that. So I understand why I'm not allowed to work. I understand why I'm not allowed to work out. I understand all these things, but it's very frustrating. So I am basically uh, making the videos that I have had sitting around and I've been thinking about making for a while. So now I have at least two weeks to do it. And you're gonna be seeing probably a bit more of me, hopefully. Uh, but that's it, I just wanted to let you know if anybody was wondering and uh, kind of a, a PSA like, hey, you've now heard what a heart attack sounds like because I was not ready for what that felt like and that that was a heart attack. It's still weird to me to think that something that just feels, it doesn't feel life-threatening when it's happening. That's the, that's my key takeaway is that life-threatening things rarely feel life-threatening at the time. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stop here. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the videos that I'm going to be uploading. Uh, they're going to be kind of all over the place because, like I said, they've been stored up for the past nine months or so. Uh, and uh, as always, play on.